I'm a bilingual host and trainer. I've hosted for conferences, seminars, award presentations, wedding dinners and other corporate events. Do contact me if you are looking for a host and I look forward to seeing you at your next event. This is a famous poem by a poet called Lin Bai from the Tang Dynasty. It depicted an officer who was posted away from his hometown and how much he missed his family. The full moon reminded him of the mid-autumn festival when families get together. In this segment of cultures and traditions, we'll be talking about Yes, you guessed it, the Mid-Autumn Festival. The Mid-Autumn Festival, also fondly known as the Lantern or Mooncake Festival, falls on the 15th day of the 8th month of the Chinese Lunar Calendar. Most cultures have harvest festivals, and the Chinese are no exception. Similar to Thanksgiving, the Mid-Autumn Festival is about reunions. It is about families coming together to celebrate the moon and the abundance of harvest. So stay tuned as we share with you more about this traditional Chinese festival. I'm Lin and you're watching Zoom TV. Welcome back. The ancient Chinese observed that the movement of the moon has a close relationship with changes of the seasons and agricultural production. Hence, to express their thanks to the moon and to celebrate the harvest, people gather together on the festival day to offer sacrifice to the moon, to appreciate the bright full moon and to eat moon cakes. There are other customs like playing lantern, riddle guessing or titan me, opera, puppetry shows, lion or dragon dances, or traditional dances. So what is the Mid-Autumn Festival without the mooncakes? People eat mooncakes to express their love for their families and their hope for a happy life. This is associated with the autumn equinox when the moon is supposed to appear at its roundness. The roundness of the moon symbolizes family unity and harmony and the mooncakes are round symbolizing the reunion of a family. So what kind of mooncakes do you like? The traditional or the new generation ones? Do join us after the break as we share with you the various types of mooncakes available in the market. Traditional mooncakes are involved with Chinese characters for togetherness or harmony as well as the insignia of the baker and the feelings inside. Flowers, vine, a moon or rabbits can also be used as additional decoration. Most moon cakes consist of a thin, tender, golden brown skin wrapped around a sweet, dense feeling of lotus, red bean, red date paste. And they have one or more whole salted egg yolk at the center to symbolize the full moon. New generation moon cakes have evolved with taste or dietary needs to adapt to today's more healthy Conscious lifestyle, many bakers offer mooncakes that are miniature, low fats or low sugar. And they are usually made of yogurt, jelly or non-fat ice cream. And they offer a healthier choice of feeling like green tea, ginger, fruits or vegetables. So what kind of mooncakes do you like? Let me ask our friend here. So Peter, what kind of mooncakes do you like? Mm, growing up, I like the traditional mooncake. But right now, I think I like the snow skin more. Because of the exterior, it's like uh, mochi, the Japanese and also the, for the inside, I like lotus, but I also like durian as well. Oh, D24, Mao Shan Wang. Mao Shan Wang, because yes. it's stronger. I like that. And this is the season, so. Okay, that's nice. Thank you, Peter. So, Peter likes the snow skin mooncake, whereas I, I still like the traditional mooncakes. Okay, I'm going to enjoy some mooncake with my family. This is Lynn from Zoom TV signing off. Do join us at the next episode of Cultures and Traditions as we talk about. Festival of Lights, Deeper Bali. See you soon. Bye. Nihao, my name is Xin Yi. I'm a singer, teacher, and teacher. My teacher experience includes speaking, 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 speaking,